Hiya folks, it's Kikoskia here and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And when last we left off, we went down to the Confession Club, but not to dance the night away as Helen might have done in days gone by when she was immortal. No, we had quests to do, starting off with dealing with Patty. Now Patty was a delicate situation. She is a ghoul, but the vampire that gave her blood, as far as we know, is dead. She's been searching for him, perhaps in denial about the fact that he's gone, talking way too loudly to way too many people about vampires. Luckily for us, we were able to persuade her to go to a different city by lying about the vampire that gave her blood's location. And so off she went, following a wild goose chase. She may come back at some point, but that's a problem for future me to deal with. Or maybe not me, because I might not be here when that happens. Then we spoke to the proprietor of the club, Venus. We told her that Fat Larry sent us, and then we started working with her to get her out from under the thumb of the Russian Mafia. First, we got the hired goons asking for money to back off. Then we went to the head of the Mafia in the area and got him to relinquish the debt that she has with him. We did this using a mixture of persuasion to get to him, and then our vampire disciplines and our blood is a little bit lower. We could have gone in here axe swinging and just killed people. I imagine we also could have sided with the Mafia. But instead, we helped Venus out. Now there's one more thing I'd like to get before we depart. And that is in here. And it's this book. ABC always be closing. Now, if we do this, and we do that, there we go. You didn't see us do it, so you're not going to get angry, because you likely have, yep, you have a machine pistol. Don't want to get shot by that. You just keep looking at that pistol. So let's see what the book is that we've managed to get a hold of. Mitch and Murray's Lead to the California Real Estate Market. This book raises your finance knowledge. Considering the fact that we are never going to be putting a point in finance ever, there's no real harm in using this book now. So let's do that. Stat increased. Now, finance is at three. Considering the fact that we started with no points in finance, that is now joint highest with brawl and scholarship. Fantastic. That means we'll get better prices on things. With that situation dealt with peacefully, it's time to head back out. There we go. Doors open. Go and report on our success. After that, we might not have any more quests we can do here. But I think there's something else we can still do in general. We do need to go and report to the Anarchs about the fact that we dealt with the Patty situation. That might lead us to another quest. Another reason to not go and speak to LaCroix. Oh, LaCroix is going to be so angry. So, so very angry. Let us now go through here, and likely have to go to the office. It is a bit loud in here, after all. There you are. Finished yet? Let's talk in your office. What? Let's talk in your office! Yeah, I can't hear you! Let's talk in my office! Have you considered lowering the volume of the music? All right, then. Off we go! We did it! Club's yours. Boris. The debt is off. We're now partners. I've got some money to make us. I'll hold your share of the profits. Don't forget to drop by and scoop them up once in a while, hmm? You'll see me again, and often. Don't worry. Goodbye, Venus. And with that, quest is done. Report back to Skelter. That's the only thing we have to do right now. So let's go do that. Now we could jump down, but let's instead take the long way. We don't want to alarm people. So let's go this way and that way. It must be very difficult to get into those cages. You probably need a ladder. Or maybe the cages lower down. I don't know. 
I'm not the one that set those up. Local paper sensationalizes fact. <gasps> Say it isn't so! A newspaper sensationalizing things? What's the world coming to? Let's head back out in the streets. We are missing a tiny bit of blood, but I think we'll be alright for now. And there's not many good places we could go and get some blood. There's no one back here, for instance. Ah, Helen hasn't had a phone call for ages. They probably took her phone. They probably did. Right, let's go. We have to go this way. All the way back to the last round. Shouldn't take too long. If there's an opportunity to get some blood, we'll take it, but I doubt there's going to be. Also, we can not go in there. You'd think it's a big building with all these gargoyles that you can just go in, but no. Now, are the people on the corners... They're actually gone, I think. Huh. They are gone. Maybe all these people can now be drained. Don't know. Not gonna find out right now. Our blood situation is perfectly fine. Look at that person with that fancy attire. So fancy. And here we are, the last round. Reporting on our success. We've been doing a lot of that recently. All done! What's up? I took care of the patty problem. Good work. Ghouls ain't nothing but trouble if you ask me. It's a weakness, pure and simple. Glad to be of service to such a just cause. Okay, we have no more quests we can do. Yep, that's it. All of our quests are done. Everything has been dealt with. So the only quest we now have to do... We have the Carnival of Death here, we have the Regent's Riddle, the Mud Hunt, and the Explosive Beginning. We need to report to Prince LaCroix at the, Ventru at the Venture Tower downtown. Well, guess we're off to do that. Is there anything else we could talk to you about? What's up? I'm doing more useless bullshit for LaCroix. <laughs> Buck up, kiddo. I told you, man. You do what you gotta do. I can't escape it. You were born into this whole mess with an ounce of fame. That's usually gonna work against you. Why does the prince always want me to go for him? Ah, I bet he's gonna hold you up one day as an example of what the Camarilla can do for the wayward and lowly. Uh, it's a bunch of crap, but hey, good for you. But I want to side with the Anarchs. Why should I help him? An educated young kindred like yourself, carefully placed within the ranks of the Camarilla, can do a lot for the Anarchs, I bet. Your choice. Ain't it nice to have some choice? Just be your own dead-ass self. Play the game, kiddo. Just keep your eyes open, you hear me? You can help everyone that way. I'll do my best. I hear you. Later. Some nice encouraging words there from Jack, reiterating what we were told upstairs. Play along, but also report in often. And with that done, it's now time to go and say hello, hotel, to LaCroix. And LaCroix's gonna be so mad. So very, very mad. Where were you? I was expecting you seven videos ago. Well, too bad. Too bad. Like, the taxi literally puts you in front of where you need to go. And we have not gone there. But now we are going to go there. This is the tower. Let us save. And let's go say hi. Who knows? We might learn many things by just keeping our eyes open. Ooh, this place is very fancy. Hello. Snack cake? What are you doing here? I mean, I gotta admit, I'm a little flattered if you're stalking me, but, uh, anyhow, uh, you see where your little security muffins ended up? Night shift lobby sergeant, huh? <laughs> hey, you stick with me, because I'm going straight to the top, baby. Oh, you're here! 
mind doing me a favor, Moon Pie, and buzzing me up? Uh, I'd love to buzz you up, but according to Building Security Protocol 916, I'm gonna have to verify you're supposed to be here before I can open the elevator. I hate to be a Louis Law, but I'm new here, and uh, you don't get a second chance like this every day. I'm here to see LaCroix. Would that be Sebastian LaCroix of the LaCroix Foundation, or Dwayne LaCroix of Insurrection Baby Formula Company? Sebastian LaCroix. Uh, okay then. Mr. LaCroix, he told me to expect someone fitting your description sometime tonight. You go right on up. Thanks. Yeah, uh, you have a good power meeting, or, uh, whatever it is you types do up there. Do you need any security? Well, you just ring the front desk and ask for Officer Chunk. That's me, in case you were wondering. Did you say... Chunk? Ah, yeah, I, I get that all the time. The name goes back to my football days. Oh, actually, uh, my fantasy football days uh, at the station. Stationarium. That was this office supply outlet mall I used to watch. Hey, you kids! No skating in the parking lot! <laughs> That was me. Right. Be seeing you, Chunk. Good news, we can pop up now. I imagine we're going this way. Oh, one of these is already open. Uh, so... Penthouse. Yeah, it's the only place we can go. The penthouse. And there's LaCroix. And the sheriff. How we're gonna conduct this is very carefully. Very carefully. Hello. There you are. I was informed of your presence in the building. Since you're here, I'll take the liberty of assuming you've destroyed the warehouse. This is correct, yes? Yes, that is... Most excellent. I had no doubt you'd prove my decision a prudent one. I trust you encountered no impediments to your progress on account of my personnel. Ooh. This is your opportunity to throw Mercurio under the bus. And your opportunity to throw anybody else in Santa Monica under the bus. But, playing along. Gotta play along. No, not at all. That is the answer I like to hear. You've done well, circumstances being what they were. I will admit, not many in your position would have overcome such a trial. But don't misunderstand me. It was no fool's errand. You may yet prove to be a genuine asset. It's a bit disturbing the lack of talent within this organization as of late. Tell me, what would you say to doing a bit of reconnaissance for me? Hmm. We could do three, but we don't have leverage here, so I'd say yes, sir. Excellent. Were you by chance in the military at all? I was an officer myself, actually, in Napoleon's ranks. There have been whispers, rumors spreading around the kindred community concerning the Elizabeth Dane, the cargo ship that was towed into port recently. Have you heard of it? I have, yes. Go on. The police are investigating the Dane as we speak. Even the Nosferatu have little information on what's been found. However, the reason the ship has caused such speculation is because it was transporting an object called the Ankaran Sarcophagus. Now, I'm not one to predicate a decision based on conjecture, so what I need is fact. And more importantly, I need evidence that the occurrences on the Dane were not supernatural in nature, and in no way relate to this Ankaran sarcophagus. What do you need me to do? You have three objectives. One, I want you to examine the sarcophagus for anything unusual. You may sense something peculiar about the sarcophagus. In fact, many kindred in the city have reported an uneasiness in the air since the Dane's arrival. Do not, under any circumstances, open the Ankaran sarcophagus. Secondly, the police have begun their investigation. Find out what they have concluded thus far. Thirdly, take the cargo manifest for the ship. I want to find out what else it was carrying. The last thing we want is police aware of our existence. So be careful what you do in front of them. And unlike the warehouse, you cannot wholesale slaughter a ship full of lawmen without consequences. 
Is this understood? Yes. Good. Oh, and it has come to my attention that you had an encounter with Nines Rodriguez earlier. The man so does love to throw that cretinous charm of his brashly about. What exactly did Mr. Rodriguez say? Ooh. Hmm. One is bad. Four is bad. Three he won't believe. Some nonsense about the Anarchs. I didn't listen very carefully. If I may give you a piece of advice, always listen to others' words carefully. Read between the lines. Gauge where you stand with them and who they decry or exalt. The more you know about someone, the greater your advantage. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you're prepared to leave for the Dane. Oh. I am, but I have questions first. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Oh, good. I'm glad you can. I had questions about people. Yes. Yourself, for instance. It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. What clan are you? I'm Ventru. But I don't disparage any of the other clans. All are equally important in maintaining the foundations of the Camarilla, and the elders of each serve as my council. I had a question about someone else. Yes? What about Beckett? You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. I have questions about other people. Yes? He's never happy about answering questions. What about Jack? Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lark. Oh, any other people? Yes. That guy standing behind you. Or actually next to you. He's my sheriff. When there is a problem that words are wasted on, I send him. The less one sees of him, the better. Oh, definitely. What about something else? Which is... Uh, tell me about the Camarilla. In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kindred society. What about... Which is... The Sabbat. Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind, or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. What about... Yes? Um... No, no, no. Not... Which is... Not that. The sarcophagus. All I know about the Ankaran sarcophagus is what I've heard on the news. It was found during an archaeological excavation in Turkey, and it appears ancient. There could be nothing but dust inside. However, that does not discount the possibility of it containing some kindred artifact, or even a mummy. All of these evidence of the supernatural, and therefore potentially damaging to us. As for it containing an ancient kindred, the Camarilla does not put stock in the actuality of antediluvians. They're myths. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Ah, the antediluvians. The incredibly ancient vampires that supposedly sleep 
far, far away from civilization, but are so strong that even their dreams influence the actions of large swathes of kindred society. There are fears that they will one day wake up and consume everything. That is what people believe Gehenna will be, and that vampire society in the world is experiencing its final nights. That's all the questions I have for now. Goodbye. We are not ready to go to the Dane just yet. We are, for sure, going to go and inform the Anarchs of where we're going. There may also be some other quests that we can do around, but we haven't yet located them. So, last round is over here. Getting better at navigating around the city, that's for sure. Getting much better at it. Maybe someday someone will remove that graffiti on the wall. Maybe. Maybe. Keep your eye out for doors you can open, Kiko. Places you can go. That was an interesting conversation with LaCroix. There was a hint of annoyance that we survived. Surprise as well. But so long as we keep living. Hello again. We can keep being useful. And I think LaCroix intends to use us for as long as we are useful. Can I tell you about what we're going to be doing? Can I tell you? Hello. Heard anything? I'll let you know when I have. Okay, so nothing yet. Sorry, newbie. But I got the whole city shouting in my ear right now. We'll have to rant some other night. Okay, so nothing we can do there. I thought we'd be able to report on the Dane, but no, but no. Will we go to the Dane right away? Maybe. There might be a few other quests we can do first. But that'll be for next time, folks. But when we come back, we have seven experience points. That's a lot of experience points. That is a lot. We could put a point in strength. Strength would be very useful. Security might actually be useful. Security would improve our lock picking to five and then we could blow off into seven. Dexterity would improve our sneaking and lock picking, which might be very useful if we're going onto the Dane, but we are one point of experience away from improving our dexterity. If only we had another quest we could do. If only, but we don't. And that's a shame. When we come back, folks, go to Bidane. Unless I find another quest to do. It's very likely there's something else for me to do. Maybe. It's just a question of finding it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. Better get off the road, actually. You never know! A car might spawn in even though there are no cars that move about. That I know of, anyway, outside of gunscenes. Game can still surprise me.